There are four major types of tissues found in the human organism. We have connective tissue, muscle tissue, nervous tissue, and we also have a tissue that is found in our digestive system and excretory system known as the epithelial tissue or simply the epithelium. Now epithelium consists of specialized types of cells known as the epithelial cells and these cells come in different forms and different shapes as we'll see in just a moment. Now first, let's define what the function and the purpose of the epithelial tissue is. So the epithelial tissue has three important functions. Firstly, it functions in protection. It protects the cells found underneath our epithelial layer from things like toxins, UV radiation, acidity, and many other things. It acts to basically exchange the nutrients and the waste products between the cells found beneath our epithelial layer and our body cavity. And three, it basically synthesizes and secretes special types of molecules such as proteolytic enzymes, sweat, mucus, as well as many other things. Now, epithelial cells, which constitute the epithelial tissue, come in three different shapes. So we have our cuboidal, columnar, and squamous. Now, cuboidal simply means that the shape of our epithelial cell is of a cube. Our columnar simply means we have these rectangular-like columns. And C, squamous, simply means our cells are very flat, so they look something like this. Now, these cells can basically organize themselves to form our epithelial tissue or the epithelium. And epithelium can be organized in three different ways. We can have simple epithelium, we can have stratified epithelium, and we can also have something known as pseudostratified epithelium. And we'll see what that means in just a moment. First, let's discuss simple and stratified epithelium. Now, simple, a simple epithelium means that we have a single layer of cells across the entire basement membrane, and we'll see what the basement membrane is in just a moment. And simple epithelium is usually found in that region of our digestive system that requires secretion and or absorption. On the other hand, stratified epithelium simply means we have many layers of our epithelial cells stacked on top of one another. And this type of epithelium is usually found in those regions that is exposed to a continual uh, amount of mechanical and chemical stress. And we'll see what that means in the next several lectures. So, a third type of epithelium is known as pseudostratified epithelium. And this basically means that our layer of cells looks like it's multi-layer, but it actually consists of a single layer of cells. So basically this is an example of pseudostratified epithelium. So pseudostratified epithelium cont uh, contains an arrangement of cells, an arrangement of nuclei that resembles the tissue typical arrangement found in stratified epithelium, but it actually consists of a single layer. So let's move on to our structure. Let's discuss the several components that we need to know in terms of our epithelial cells and epithelium. So we have this collection of cells that let's suppose is found inside our stomach or inside our small intestine. So we have these epithelial cells that basically form a single layer. So this is a simple epithelium and because the shape of these cells is that of a rectangle, that means these are columnar cells. So we have a simple columnar epithelium. Now this side is our lumen side. This is the cavity of our organ. For example, it's the cavity of the stomach or it's the cavity of our small intestine. Now the side of our cells that faces our lumen side is known as the apical side. But the other side that faces our basement membrane is known as the basolateral side or simply the basal side. 
So we have this basal side that is attached to our basement membrane. And the basement membrane simply is a matrix that consists of specialized proteins and other molecules whose function is to basically act as a base for these cells. So the basement membrane provides an attachment point for these uh, epithelial cells. And below the basement membrane, we have some sort of connective tissue. So we have these blood vessels, we have our uh, capillaries, we have these veins that basically provide the nutrients to these cells and also take away the waste products that are secreted by these cells. So the side of the cell that points towards the lumen side, the cavity, is known as the apical side, while the side attached to our basement membrane is called the basolateral side. Now the basement membrane is also sometimes known as the basal lamina or the basal membrane. Now, this basement membrane acts as an attachment point for the cells. It holds those cells together and it consists of specialized proteins such as, for example, collagen. Now, epithelial cells, as we mentioned earlier, are found in our digestive system as well as in many other places of our body, for example, our skin. Now, the stomach, the small and large intestines, all consist of layers of these specialized epithelial cells. And these epithelial cells not only protect our internal cells and organs, but they also, they also secrete as well as absorb many different types of nutrients into our body. And we'll see how this actually takes place in the next several lectures when we focus on the stomach, the small intestine, as well as the large intestine.